This is Nupur Jha from IV Professional School. I am currently pursuing my data science course in this renowned institute, and I have done my bachelor's in economics from the Bhavanipur Education Society College in the year 2021. Today, I'm going to work with a data set, which is known as Coffee Chain, using a data visualization tool, which is Tableau. Tableau is a very powerful data visualization and analysis tool where we can create business standards, dashboards to not only visualize data, but also draw insights from it. For the case study, these are my contents. The objective of my case study is to analyze the coffee chain data set by connecting to Tableau Public, represent the findings in the form of visuals or charts, and to make a dashboard and use dashboard actions to show insights of the data. So moving on, when we talk about the case study, the case study comprises of three data set under coffee chain. The first data set name is fact table, second is location, and the third is product. Before moving on, I would like to take you on to the first data set. The name of the first data set is fact table, which consists of all these columns. The name of the columns are profit, margin, sales, cost of goods sold, total expenses, marketing, inventory, budget profit, budget cost of goods sold, budget margin, budget sales, area code, product ID, and the date. Second data set is location, which has the area codes, the state, the market, and the market size. And the third and the final data set is product, which consists of product type, the name of the products, the IDs of the products, and the type. So let's go to Tableau. Before going to Tableau, I would like to show you all the questions that I have prepared for the data set. The important questions for my data set that I have created are, what are the product wise sales? What is the sales contribution of markets in the market size? Third question is to show the profit distribution of product type. What is to compare the budget sales with sales and the budget profit with profit? Fifth shows to show the market wise sales on geographical map and which market has the highest sales. And also the last one which says, which are the top two and bottom two states in terms of profit. So we are moving on. So this is Tableau, this is Tableau public. Um, to connect to a data, what we do is this is the, this is when, this is how we open Tableau public and to connect to any file, to different files, we connect like this. We click on the Excel for the Excel files text file for the CSV files, Microsoft Access for the Access files. Now for this data, I had Excel files, so I've clicked on that and I've connected to the data set and join, uh, formed a relationship out of the three data set. Now my first question says to find the product wise sales. So we see here uh, on the left hand side, we see all the three tables mentioned and um, they have the respective fields as well. So we choose the product which is mentioned over here. We take it to the row. We see the product is over here and the sum of sales. Now I have colored the sum of sales. And this is a descending order representation of a product with uh, their respective sales. So we can see that uh, the product Colombian uh, accounts for the maximum sales, which is 1,28,311. And the least sales is brought by regular espresso. So forming charts is quite an easy thing over here. Um, we have this column, we have this thing on the right side, which is known as show me. So once I click uh, whatever chart I want to have, I can click and I can have the chart on my worksheet. Now the second question was uh, to see the profit distribution of the product types. So I have taken the product type from here and mentioned it. I have labeled all the product and we have to see the profit distribution. So the, uh, 
profit column has to be brought in. So this is the profit column from the fact table. I have brought in over here, I have colored it and I have labeled the sum of profit and the product type. And this is what we get. So when we click over here, we see that product type coffee has a profit 74,683, which is the maximum over here. And the minimum is tea, which bags 52,986. The next question asked for the sales contribution of markets in the market size. So I have choose the market column, which is over here. I have taken it over here in the market and market size is colored and the sum of sales I have labeled it and I have taken the sum of sales as a percentage of total. So these are all the four markets which are central, east, south and west and their small and major market size. So if I click over here, it gives me the small market, which is at 13.72% of central market. So the market which had the maximum sales contribution was definitely west and the least was south. Next question asked for the comparison of budget sales with sales and budget profit with actual profit. So um, I have taken all the columns in the, I've taken all the fields in the rows, as you can see, and I've taken a column called product. And what I have done is I have created a dual axis, which distincts me from the budget part and the actual part. So we can see that the budget parts are in the form of bar graphs and the actuals are in the form of a line graph. So to create um, a dual axis is actually very easy. We can see that um, these columns, these sales and profit columns are in the form of dual axis and dual axis gives me the option of choosing. So I have chosen a line graph for them and this is how it looks. The next question asked me to show the market wise sales on geographical map and also to tell me which market has the highest sale. So geographical map wanted Definitely, uh, it should have a latitude and a longitude generated. So I have the market. I have the markets labeled and the sum of sales labeled. And we can see that the market in the West had the highest sales. The final question was to show the top two and the bottom two states in terms of profit. So I have colored the top two states with a uh, darker shade of brown and lighter shade of brown, I have colored the bottom two states in terms of profit. And also I have labeled the profit amount. So we can see that California and Illinois uh, and account for the top two states in terms of profit and New Mexico and New Hampshire are the least ones. For making the top two and the bottom two columns, what I did was I have created two sets and then combined, uh, then created a combined set of a third. So I created a first set, which is this one of top two. I can show this set. So this is the top two set. I have mentioned it by field top two of profit and clicked OK. Similarly, I'd made a set of bottom two. And the next thing I did was combining these two sets. So after combining these two set, uh, we can see the sets are top two and bottom two are combined over here. I have filtered them and after filtering them, I find my respective answers. So moving back to my presentation. These are my findings that I have shown. So we can see these are the product wise sales. This is the sales contribution of markets in the market size. This is the profit distribution of product type. 
to compare the budget sales with sales and budget profit with profit. Uh, this shows the market-wise sales on geographical map and which market has the highest sales as I've shown before. And the top two and the bottom two states in terms of profit. Now, the insights that we get from this case study are that products Colombian and regular espresso account for the maximum and minimum sales respectively. Secondly, markets in the West and the South contribute maximum and minimum in the market sizes respectively. Coffee brings in maximum amount of profit. We have shown the comparison using dual axis charts. West market generates maximum sales at 272,264. And lastly, top two states in terms of profit are California and Illinois. Bottom two states in terms of profit are New Hampshire and New Mexico. Now, we need to show all these findings in the form of a dashboard. So let's move on to the dashboard in Tableau. So here's my dashboard. So the name of the dashboard is coffee chain. And this, this chart shows the sales contribution of markets. This shows product by sales, profit distribution, budget versus actual sales and profit comparison, top and bottom two states in terms of profit and market wise sales. Now, this dashboard definitely has to work in order to give us deep insights. So I have used actions, how to, mention actions over here is we see this option called dashboard and it has this option called actions. The dashboard is gonna take me to the action part. Yeah, so it's here. So these are the three filters that I have used for my dashboard, the market size, market by sales and the product sales. I click OK and I see that once I'm clicking this part, you'll see changes all over the dashboard. So we can see once I click on these actions, this is how it's changing. For the product Colombian. Yeah, so everything for the product is changing. Now, if I undo all these, Now, if I click over here, use these actions. So these are the changes I can see. I click coffee. And my dashboard is fixing itself accordingly. I click T. And my dashboard is changing accordingly. So that's how my dashboard is functioning. Yeah. So that's all from my side. I hope you guys like this small presentation. Thank you so much.